Jared Poland Frono's photo.com. And there is only one surefire way to stop people from stealing your images online. Do you know what that way is? It's called not uploading your images at all. If you don't want anybody to steal them, you're not going to put them online because there's pretty much nothing you can do to stop anybody anywhere with the least amount of technological savvy from taking any of your images any way possible. Now, the other day I made a video about Squarespace and showing you how you can deactivate right clicking, which is something that I did deactivate on my site. And I'm going to show you guys, if you want to deactivate that on your Squarespace, how to do it. Now that's up to you. That is not going to stop people from stealing your images. For example, on the main page of my Squarespace, which is jaredpoland.com, you can sit here and drag the image to the desktop. Now, when I made that video, so many people made me aware, uh, that they, well, first off, they jumped down my throat and said that, are you dumb enough to think that people can't steal your images? No, that wasn't it. I think I'm pretty smart to know that anybody can steal any of your images uh, wherever you put them online. I was simply giving people the option to show that you can deactivate right-clicking, which means that people can't right-click on your page. That was simply it. Nothing special. No surefire way to stop people from stealing your images. Just giving people that option if they wanted to do it. So let me show you guys how to do that if you want to do that. Simply, right here is the code popping up on the screen. You go over to the sprocket, the basically sprocket button right over here inside your Squarespace on the back end. You click on that, and then under header, you type in this code. And when you do that and you hit save, then you go back to your site after you refresh it, and nobody can right-click on it. Now, the reason I did that, I may not even leave it on. It's not a deterrent. It's not meant to deter people from stealing. I don't even know what it's for, whether you should use it or you shouldn't. It's just simply there as an option for some people that would like to do that. But but there is no way to stop people from stealing your images online. I am one who... I'm a big fan of uploading my images to Flickr and letting people share them. I want people to share them. If they go ahead and they print them for personal use, so be it. That is personally fine, as long as they do not try to sell them as their own works. Now, a lot depends. If you're trying to sell the images to people because you did an event, then in that case, if you want to put a big-ass watermark in front of the image, I'm not a fan of big-ass watermarks, but you know that people are going to take them and most likely not purchase them. So my main, one of the things I like doing at events is I either pre-sell everything and say, look, it costs you X dollars to have me come and photograph, and in exchange for that, I give you every single image, I'll put them online, I'll put up the full res, and people can do whatever they want with them. That way, you get paid what you think you're worth, and you don't have to worry about people stealing them. So that is an option. Just remember, nobody, you're not going to stop anybody from print screening this, or as a lot of people uh, said, that you can go right into the code, and you can find where, the, the, if you're looking at it, the image has been downloaded to your computer already, so you can go find it. If people have that much time and they want to go and do that, that's perfectly fine. So so really, it's pretty simple. You want that code for stopping the right click? You can do that. It's not going to stop people from stealing your images. It's just giving you that option. And then on Squarespace, what I want to tell you is how to upload your images at what size. They recommend uploading them at 1,500 pixels wide. That is where I upload mine. And what happens when you do that, I'll also do it in RGB mode. You don't want to do it in CMYK. Uh jpegs that's what i upload are jpegs and i don't really worry about the dpi but i personally export at 1500 pixels on the widest from lightroom uh, as a jpeg about 80 percent out of 100 and i do leave the dpi at 300 that's just something i do i don't have an answer for why uh, but that's what i do so how squarespace works with your images is that they will resize it into six different sizes so that it is faster loading across the board whether people are looking at it on an iphone an ipad an android device it's it's already formatted in those six different sizes so they know which size to grab so that your site can load pretty darn quick with multiple types of images. Also, when you go ahead and scroll, you see how the images change in size right here. That is what I love about it. So that is great that the images render there and boom. That's about it. If you want to try out Squarespace which, Squarespace, which is what I use for my personal portfolio because I think it's easy, I think it's affordable, and I like the quality of huge, big-ass images that I upload, being able to be looking at this is a 27-inch screen that I'm looking at full frame in full-on quality that I love 
these shots, then check out Squarespace. Go to squarespace.com slash fro. Uh, and if you use code FROTUBE after your 14-day trial, first off, you get a 14-day free trial. If you don't like it, then don't pay for it. Don't go ahead and do anything with it because you don't like it. But if you do like it and you think it's something that is going to make you stand out in the world of photography and help your images be seen by other people easier, then use code FROTUBE when you go ahead and sign up and you'll get 10% off your first order. That means if you sign up for a year of the basic service, it's like 8 bucks a month at that point after you go ahead and use your 10% off discount code for that one-time offer. So for like $84 and change, I think you get a fully functioning professional website for a year that's easy to work and that's it. And for anybody who thinks that it's an ad, yep, it's a plug, but it is a plug because I use them. So if you use that code, it helps me out, but yeah, that's it. Anybody who wonders whether that is, it is, but it is what it is. And that's the information that I uh, just gave you. So thank you guys for watching. And remember, there is no surefire way to stop people from stealing your images. People made me well aware of that fact when I was trying to make a simple video just showing people an option that they could use. So thank you. I heard you, and this is the response to that, and I'm well aware that you can't stop anybody. But hey, you can only hope to contain them. That's it. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya.